<clears throat> Alrighty, it's Sunday, 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 fun day. 6.45 p.m. local time, USA East Coast. And we're off tomorrow and we're off Tuesday, so it's fun time. See what we're gonna do. <clears throat> I think we'll do one of the main missions. Let's see what we got here. We don't want to do stop the collectors. We don't want to beat the game too soon. But let's see, Jacob. He's asked for a mission for me. Miranda's asked for a mission. Hmm. Well, since they're actually sick, um, let's go here. <clears throat> okay. So, we want to go to the Arakla system, Krokon DMZ. Hey, let's get it. Oh, and we're close. All right. So yeah, right in the neighborhood anyway. Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. Okay, so of course, oh, they even slay. I was gonna say, of course, we're gonna take him. Of course. All right, we got the Warlord maxed out. We got five points. Um, all right. Let's get it. Woo! Video game time. Yes. All right. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Hmm. Grunt, I think, will like the fact that the clan leader of his people 
is my buddy. And this is gonna make him loyal to me. He's like, yo, man. Nice. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Yo, what's up, Rex? Shepard, what can I do for you, my friend? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite Warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with <laughs> Shepard. <laughs> How could he be alive? <laughs> Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. Clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Puberty? Grunts growing up? I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Oh shit. Idiot. So, Grunt, <laughs> do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. <clears throat> you too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? <laughs> I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Hunt well, Shepard. Okay, so the shaman is close. Is the shaman over here? Oh, now I'm going slightly a different way. Oh, he's way up there. Wait, what? This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Hmm? Ah, uh, upstairs. Alright. Power doesn't work half the time. If my jocks are buried and other clans are always trying to kill us. You don't have the plates to try. 
Kid. You go beyond yourself, Gatatag Uvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. Mm -hmm. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. Mm -hmm. I don't care what this idiot says. Grunt has the right to be here. There's some fire, and from an alien. Oh, the shame the seeps on those who whine like pups. <laughs> if this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. Mike Grant stands against him. He has no one. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Grant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? How is a candidate tested if he brings back up on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior, but each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. Hmm. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. We stand with Grunt, as shipmates and comrades. Shipmates are not the same thing. But I grant you aliens your simple interpretation. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. <laughs> you. <laughs> you dare. <laughs> I like this human. He understands. <laughs> I my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. <laughs> you have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. Uh? They're your problem now. <laughs> We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested and that you must adapt. Is that Krogan going to be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. Uh? From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the rite, only the candidate and his cramped are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. <laughs> Let's get it. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars in the passage of centuries. It endures. Like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Hmm. First the Krogan conquered Tuchanka, and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold.
Oh shit. Fucked up. One down. Load game. <clears throat> Stone to continue the right. The keystone. We must have to trigger it again for the next part of the right. Then the Krogan were lifted to the stars to destroy the fears of a galaxy. Enemy only we could chase to their lair. Crawlers, come to your death. Whoa, hello. Time to fight.
back shot. Keystone to continue the right. Give me one minute. The Keystone. I oh, must have to trigger trip. it again for the next part of the right. All right, let's go. Now, all Krogan bear the Genophage. Our reward, our curse. It is a fight where the only goal is survival. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's about to go down, bitch! Woo! What's up, big boy? was the last. My cramp gave me strength beyond my genes, <clears throat> which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure, no alien meddling in your construction, just the warlord of Kier. The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem, but not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name. On Shepard's name. But now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or <clears throat> serve on an alien ship. <clears throat> but you'd be clan in name. 
You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance too. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Uvik, you were the pretender. Mm? Your head is valuable whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! What's up, bitch? It's my crew. Say hello to my sniper. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher mob <clears throat> fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battlemaster. Shepard is my battlemaster. He has no match. <laughs> Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortac. His weapons are the finest we have. What were you called before you became shaman? I gave up my name when I became the shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain <laughs> my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I want to know about Tchanka's past. Tchanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, hmm. and destroys the stupid. Survival <laughs> is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you of all aliens would understand, Shepard. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the right of life at birth, and the right of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The right of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. 
Hmm. I carry the scars on my soul. <clears throat> I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. Indeed. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. Hmm? This might be useful. Nice. What's up, big boy? Yeah, we're gonna save her up for the fire ammo. Time to go. You know, you hear that the tank bread and the human killed the threshing ball? Everybody's heard. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been done since Rex himself. Ah, <laughs> that's right. the end of that conversation. Hopefully it plays it again. I don't think it will though. Let's see. I missed what the I I said about uh destroying the slasher. Oh well. Another loyal member. Let's see here. The How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. watching yet? Nope. Extra health. Ooh, pretty affordable too. Get that. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Morgan has anything new to say? Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. 
betrayed my work, disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Shame hmm? I had to kill him. Might have made a good member of the team, willing to get his hands dirty. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we'd better not run out of targets. <laughs> There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. Talk to me, Jack. Why? I'm not interested in some dumb shit love affair. Never goes right. Why do you put so much distance between us? Murtok, a guy. Used me like the rest. For sex, for biotics. It was fun, and he ruined everything. We tagged a weapons frigate with a Batarian escort and got separated. He had a choice. Leave with the guns, or come back for me. Idiot dumped the score and waded into the squints. Hmm. I made the shuttle, but no way he was getting out. And? I fly for a day or so, and then the shuttle kicks out this recording. He set it to play if he hadn't checked in. He figured that would mean he was dead. Talked about the future we were supposed to have. How he had planned to set us up a home. How he... How he loved me and he was sorry it wasn't going to happen. Hmm, which one? You feel like his death was your fault? No, he did it to himself. You feel, you get sloppy. It's that damn simple. He found out, and you'll find out. How about a little effort here, Jack? I'm getting tired of the wall you put up. It's there for you too, don't you get it? This will screw your mission. You want out alive, you goddamn run. Good thing the mission is suicide. I guess everything works out. Are you nuts? I'm also <laughs> technically undead, so do your worst. Okay, what the fuck, Shepard? So you're crazy, so what? That's practically stamped on the boarding pass for this mission. It's just gonna hurt, or you'll mess around. Or I'll end up killing you or something. And? And that sucks. So it'll suck. But how much fun is it going to be on the way? <sighs> I, I need some time to think, all right? Really, just leave me alone. Oh. God damn it. <laughs>
Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. Fuck you. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Honora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet def She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of tr I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We are a family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's... The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. How did I get to the debriefing room? Oh, it's through here, okay. <clears throat> I think. Is it? Um, fuck, I'm lost. What the hell? God damn it. These locations are not clearly marked. There we go. What's up, bitch?
Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. <clears throat> Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. No, I'm helping in Tally first. No, 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 no. Tally comes first. The crew mission comes first, damn it. Visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Sounds like a trap. Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. I got the headlights on. <laughs> Like this before. Looks like a giant in insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. tower softened it for the Turians. Perhaps the missing colonists are there, if they're still alive. The same containers as on Horizon, only these are empty. It must have been horrible, trapped in these pods, helpless, completely at the mercy of the Collectors. What happened? 
happened here? Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? They must have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. They didn't deserve this. You get what you get. Deserves got nothing to do with it. That's a collector. Are you saying those bastards even experimented on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No shit. I'm not letting the Reapers turn me into some kind of fucked up bug thing. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Oh, hello. What's this? Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. Oh shit. For an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back.
anybody watching yet? No viewer. They couldn't fill all those pods, even if they took every colonist in the Terminus. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Oh shit. Is it going to take over the Normandy ship? No shit. Yeah, no shit. This was a trap. Knew from the guy named Get Go. Yo, dude, duck and stay duck, motherfucker. They should soften them up. If I must tell you apart, Shepard, I will. Edie, get us out of here. I am simultaneously fighting collector firewalls in over 8,000 nodes. I am tasked to capacity. Here they come again. Shepard, you must manually reestablish my link to the command. 
I've regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The Collector's with source. It is unusual. What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call oh, was genuine. Oh, shit. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into Collector hands. I knew Cerberus would screw me again. I'm gonna crush his head. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Oh shit, I'm out of bullets? Oh, okay, not quite, but we better fucking reload.
shit. The fuck are we going? Ah, oh, goddamn, where are we supposed to go? Yo, bitch! Fucker. God damn it. Fuck off, bitch. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck off. Victim. 
Fuck off, bitch! Oh shit, Jack is down! Come on, Jack, get up! No more ready Jones, they're both dead. They'll come back though. Fuck, now what? Yo.
Where is she gonna take us, I wonder? What's up, bitch boy man? Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. She also discovered that the Turian distress signal originated from the collectors. There's no way you thought it was real. Without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful. With the Collectors, and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it, but we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Klendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper we found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarves basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force wind. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. Now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the Collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again, and the Collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is gonna work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld, based on navigational data from their vessel. Can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. 
The Collector homeworld is located within the Galactic Core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays on the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit oh. protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. This thing is our best shot at getting through the Omega-4 relay. We have to try. It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Yeah, we don't want to beat the game yet. We want to do the side missions. that level. Your entire squad gains the effect of your ascendaries, allowing them to spread pain and panic in a very literal crossfire. Do it. Hey. We need to discuss our relationship. I said I want to think about everything. But just... You know what it's like to think you're alone and find out you're not? Pretty much, yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. If you need to think, I can wait. For a while. I just... This is so strange for me, and you just keep pushing. What am I supposed to do with that? You're weird, Shepard. That kind of gets me off. Hmm? Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. I'll get back to you, Tally. Talk to you later. Gabby, you'd say the Normandy is a she, not a he, right? Of course. Normandy is a sweet goddess. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. 
Normandy crew delivered. Including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should do? You have unread meth. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. Alright. Uh, an hour and a half, nobody is watching. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. launched. Probe launched. Launching probe.
Kalizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with Araya. Our system has your ship flagged to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. It's a pleasure to meet you, Captain. We came as soon as we heard about the charges against Tali. It's good that you did. There were already people pressing to try her in absentia. What? Why? They never move that quickly. They're charging you with bringing active get into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active get aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes. My father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no, 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 I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you up ahead. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a thing. If Tali Zora can't even get a Quarian captain to stand for her, she's as good as convicted. Zorobas of Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. On the run. Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima. Whatever we must call you legally. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. Yo, what's up, bitches?
This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. The accused Talia Zora of Us Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Talia crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Talia's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard Vas Normandy, your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? Hell yeah. If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vas Nima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Sound Chorus, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're <laughs> accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. <laughs> happened as far as we can tell tally the geth have killed everyone on the alarai your father included what oh kila i appreciate the need for this trial admirals but right now our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet the normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary thank you Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship, so far without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! You intend to retake <laughs> the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. 
The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Allery. Yeah, that, makes sense. that is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tally. At least someone here is looking out for Tally. Will retaking the Alari really help her case? Tally showing a desire to correct mistakes she may have made will make up for a lot of lost ground. But more importantly, you may find evidence of what happened. With Locke, it will exonerate Tally from any wrongdoing. I'm supposed to care about that now? All I want to do is find Father. You should get to the Alari soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? What can you tell us about the Alari? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zora only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alari sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. We should move on. Good luck on the Alari. If any... Tally. I'm glad Admiral Rahn got you leave to hit the Alari. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarol Vasnima. You got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving rail and active equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? When you didn't recognize Tally as Admiral Zen, she's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. <laughs> Admiral Corris is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Corris's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? Man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska. Crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> That's rail for you. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. <laughs> Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. 
What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. Can you tell me anything about the Allies? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! People have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrans or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quib Quib, and I will not flee because of petty insults. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Well, to the admirals. Even during the hearing, Talizor's first thought is to protect the fleet. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry, I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of death, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. I need to do a few things before Understood. we leave. Understood. The shuttle is moving. Ali Zora, Shepard Vast Normandy. Are you ready? Let's head to the Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle.
This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves, signs of modification, clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes Connects. I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home, and Father would send a small ship. Hastrum was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Does that salvage gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. Damn it. Shit. Whew, that's a close one. This is valuable. It's got trouble. Shepard, you're trying to improve my innocence and find my dad. Why do you keep on robbing the place for credits? Well, you know, as long as we're here. Incoming.
This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. Nope. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. Mm. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build that me sucks. a house on the home world. Was this going to bring us back home? We should keep moving. Right. Uh oh, said the dad. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me to go. Hey. hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message.
thanks, Dad. Mm. Hmm. Do you want to get your father back to the shuttle? No. <clears throat> Leave him. The mission comes first. It's what he would have wanted. Come on. Let's finish this. Dude, no. Mm, I guess it ain't worth the load. Damn it. Yo! console is linked to the main hub father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. <clears throat> They'll tell us how this happened, what father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... <sighs> this is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. trial they'll we can't tell them not the admirals not anyone rail zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore you heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics you don't understand shepherd they would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on 
He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed for this, Shepard. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the oh, worst shit. war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. Well, it's her life. You go with her wishes, it's her life. We need to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. Sounds like the hearing is already underway. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. We cleared the Geth from the Alarai. It should be safe for your people to return. Thank you. We sincerely appreciate your efforts to aid the Quarian people. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth at the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. But if you want more, I can present the Normandy, which Tally also saved from Geth forces, even though it's too quiet for her to sleep well. We still don't know what happened on the Alarai. No, Admiral, you don't. But you gave her my name. I'm her captain. I trust her with my life, and I'm telling you that she's innocent. And we should just trust this human's opinion? Hmm? We placed Tali's life in the human's hands. Would you doubt those words if they came from a Quarian captain? No. Based on the rest of the evidence, I suppose that I wouldn't. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Two to one, I bet. Let's see, two to one or a unanimous. Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to nice. convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. With all due respect, Admiral, I didn't represent one of your people. I represented one of mine. So you did, Shepard. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zoravas Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. <laughs> what you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Telly, about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Well, you can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Talizora Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. We can use this.
Crane would like to speak with you, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Fane would like to see anything else, Commander. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned? How do I? But mostly I feel encouraged. Don't worry. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I, I might do like more than catch you. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Hey. We need to discuss our relationship. I said I want to think about everything. I just... You know what it's like to think you're alone? Pretty much, yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. This is getting tiresome, Jack. I thought you weren't the thinking type. What are you getting at, Shepard? Don't 180 on me. Relax, Jack. I'm not going anywhere. I just... This is so strange for me, and you just keep pushing. You're weird, Shepard. That kind of gets me off. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new Quarian boss? Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up hmm? a lot of Gav. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Is the new Normandy getting Please, in? Please, Shepard. I'm a Quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap ma I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers. But they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The no I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Can you do anything to give them My Normandy? shield fortification will help, but I don't think there is much more I can do. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. What can we do for you, Commander? What do you think about it? Actually, sir? we don't know much We're about We're off to kick the... Well do, Commander.
Fane would like to speak with you, Commander. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers of the Citadel. I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with their priorities. <clears throat> Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. I assume everything is going Good well. Good for now. Up here. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about the people? Well, with about well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. I'm not saying anything. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joe? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe.
launching probe. launched. another crew member to recruit. Let's see, so we got he's loyal. 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 Not yet. Not yet. Four more to make loyal. Okay, let's see. Let's go with Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? What can you tell me about Nos It's Astra? an exciting city. At the same time, for your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. You said Liara was here? Liara is one of Nos Astra. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can someone? help you find major entertainment centers or... Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Have a pleasant visit to Nos Astra, Commander. Talk to the tracking officer. Transportation hub. Transportation hub. Hmm. Maybe I'm not in the right spot? What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talk. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. 
Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Carosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nisana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Hmm? Nice. Talk to Trakanov for Sir Dara. Looking for Dara. Emotions in Shepard's rumored survival are mixed. While some are overjoyed to see him return, others believe his false death was a betrayal. Hmm. Transportation. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Save the game. This is the mission for my blue girl. Alright, here we go. Blue line to the top. Lines at the top. Red, white, green. Nice. Got it. Oh shit, now what? Where do we go? Where do we go? For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes Is it here? Two years after no. death attack nearly destroyed it. The Clock, I don't know where we're going. Dax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't even notice. It's a lockdown. Shit. I'm just a car. I don't know where we're going. Nobody is ever going to see you can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous. And no, I haven't. Shit, I don't know where the fuck to go. She insists it was recall. I don't know. Here it is. No, it's not. Fuck. Woo! That was fucking close. Holy shit. God damn. Okay, so we'll look for Dara. Hmm. I don't know. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legal. You're sure, Gateway Weapon? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. All blue rows of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Collect them all. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Turn your supple beauty into strength. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. 
It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. You have blossomed in a tower. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry. Don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. From the bones of my ancestors. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Hmm. I'm not sure what to tell you. Good luck either way. Thanks. I appreciate it. Leave eternity unembraced and grappled in the glorious struggle that is us. Hi. Here Please try to ignore now. my non-boyfriend's non-poetry. Can I help you? You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you I do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't hmm. thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Hmm? Talk to track an officer. Ah, officer. What so... about you? Gonna try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every assignment. Oh, here's another one. Okay, now wait. If this is here. Yeah, it's a hell of a sniper rifle. If you say so. Where's the other terminal? It's just uh, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Heck. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't Maybe need over fish. here. Maybe a shirt. Right. Or a card. Helium. It's hey, going to be tricky. Okay, white, red, blue. Blue, white. White, red. White, red, blue. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oof. Now what? Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, Shit, it doesn't tell me where to go. Mate, your father? Is this it? He got her things when he traveled. Nice. Not a competition, Dad. You don't even really remember him. And she found me after he died. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good oh, enough for shit. Eclipse? Where does this yeah, go to? Over there? Eclipse. Or a different she spot? I needed to get. Good. Save the game just in case I mess up. Firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. All right. Hmm. Oh, that was it. Damn it, I missed it. Is it this one? Okay. Is it the same one or a different spot? Oh wow, shit! Fish. It's a different spot. Last. Where the hell is it? You'll make sure she keeps it. What about you? Going to try and oh, make it? Nope, as a that's not it. Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use it, right? Shit. Damn, that's a Sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a battalion officer. Wow. You're pulling that on me? Shit, I don't know where to go. Shit, I don't know where to go. God damn it, 30 seconds. Shit, where is it? Is it over here? Fuck, 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 fuck. God damn it. I don't know where the hell it is. It's just, we're looking for weapons. What about a fish? She loves the garden. Mm. You could add a pond. She does. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy. 
Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy Leave growing up pure blood? Like I did some stupid to things to get away from the talks. The stupid drug users you're laughing at? I might have been one of them. Well, let's talk to her first since we're here. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave. And you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It's disconcerting. <sighs> All right, let's see. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was mm -hmm. too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Oh, find the Frontiers representative. I don't like the fact that I have to find them. Like, I just don't want to walk around and walk, you know, like, walk I around blind. Human. You're here to complain oh, there we about go. the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Mm. Do not waste what time you have bothering what a bitch. me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Racist. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian specter led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians and the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. Man, you're a bitch. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? 
With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the Embassy. The other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. Hmm? I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Dun dun dun! Paragon! Did you get the star charts? Yeah, I had to deal. You did it! I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. Is I what I do. I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Hmm? Secure the terminals, hack them, and locate the nearby vulnerable data, and upload it to Lara. I did two of them. I think I only have to do one more, but I don't know where... It doesn't show you where to go. That's this fucking sucky thing. I like games where it has an arrow that points you where to go. So let's see... Um... You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for it? Maybe a shirt. Or a card. Helium. Hey, you're, what about you? So there's one. Why not? Every has and it says eyes. the nearby the uplink, which this one was not the one. Her first mate, your father. He got her things when he traveled. It's mm. not a competition, Dad. You don't even really remember it. It's just we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. Hmm? And Eclipse girls never lack for love. Uh, you could get killed. The reason to I didn't mean Is it okay, tricky? Look, Is it around the corner maybe? maybe Let's check it out. Could it be really this far away? Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, hmm. you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. 
She gave me something for you. Huh. Looks like a message. She didn't say anything else? She just gave me that and left. Not even a goodbye. Hmm. Hey Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. Hmm? I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. That would be way too far away to get to in time. What the hell? Are you a Quarian or Volus who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination against exosuit wearing employees? Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem. Okay, let's try it again. See what happens. The clips might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's brain. Don't even start with me. Oh shit. Fuck. You son of a bitch. Uh, where is it? Oh shit. What? Thought I had it. Okay, run light. Oh fuck you. Alright. So white and red. Uh... Oh that was it. Damn it. Mm, it is a tricky one for some reason. Alright. Green, white, green. White two blue lines. Alright. Now where the hell is it? It's a minute, so I think it's far away because they gave us. It's over 60 seconds, so it has to be far what away, or they won't give us that long. Last. Where the hell is it? For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural oh. scarring. Oh. Did we get it? Nice. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a moment. All right. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver. These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous. Make you more intelligent. Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the Colonel Lair's office. Hmm. Lair's office is to the left, left, left. I think. The ah, yeah, administration. The that makes sense. Has come to a What's up? Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. No I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow hmm. Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? Hmm. I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. 
My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. Hmm. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Hmm. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to of know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. I wonder if the Observer is uh, the elusive man. Who knows though? Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. This is a delicate operation, mm -hmm. Shepard. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground, and my chance will be lost. Liara is right. Mm -hmm. We need to get enough evidence to strike. And we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Talk to track and nervous Adora. I thought I did that. So I guess I'm not done with that mission yet. Ilium is the gateway to the Traverse. But is that gate open too wide? Investment think tanks are noting concerns that new technological discoveries. Hmm. Oh shit. What the fuck was it? Let me search for more data. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Let me know what you find. Turing contact. 
Working well with the traitor, observer has risen a quarter against him. Give it difficulty in securing contact with the traitor through other methods. Hmm. Should try to kill the Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slivers, but the men are more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Hmm. I don't understand. Should try to kill the Batarian. Turing contract working well with the trader. Kind of the Batarian. Shepard, did you get any information on the observer? Hmm. Let me search for more data. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna see what they all what say find. to figure out what the hell's going on here. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please return your system to an authorized dealer. Or for credit toward the exciting new Coros brand radiation personal defense weapon. Customer safety is important, and Coros remains committed to providing the best radiation based solutions on the market. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. You're picking the fat and slow from the herd. Where's the fun in that? Depends on what you're after. This is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and the sorry physiology? Absolutely. In fact, I use this model at home. Oh. Mm. Do you? The hell? Shit, we're running out of time. Fuck. Whew, it was close. So, the turn's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing assassin or stellar in contact. Okay, so it's not the Turian, it's not the assassin, it's not the Salarin. Search for more data. Let me know what you find. See what the last one says.
Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a Corian. How could he be so insensitive? Hmm. Now I see if all these puzzle pieces will give me an answer. Alright, now I gotta think about it. Alright, hold on now. So the traitor cr tried to kill the Batarian. Smuggler and assassin have refused to work with the Borcha due to lack of trust. Hmm. Smuggler and assassin has refused to work with the Borcha. Turin asks too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and train the assassin of slime contact. Turin contact working well with the traitor. I don't understand. It doesn't give, really give me the answer. I have to solve a riddle here. So let's see. Traitor tried to kill the Batarian. Claims he hates slavers, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Hmm. Smuggler and assassin have refused to work with the Borcha. So these are just observations. He's not giving them commands. Traitor, Batarian. Smuggler assassin. Turin's asking too many questions. Observe recommends terminating him and Freeman assassin and Solarian contact. Turin contract working well with the traitor. Hmm. The only thing they didn't mention was the Krogan. Take down the Krogan. Thank you, Shepard. I'll make the call now. I don't know if that's All right. People are moving into position. I'll have news for you the next time. I mean, that's the only one they didn't mention. So, there you go, I guess. Guess? All right. Oops, wrong way. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop doing for a while. It's always the same. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's 10 richest people. Are the heavens still bright, Asari Blue? Or have the Volus finally fallen right. to the top? Don't miss our luck Let's do it. Let's do it! Now let's see what we got. We got 304,000. Hmm. Squad bonus, 50% biotic damage. That's pretty good. What else we got? Doubles timeline for bypass. Many jail capacity. Never can have too many heals. And this seems good. Excellent. So the total comes to one hundred and sixteen thousand four hundred. Life can be uncertain. That's why you need an on 
job programming system, whether constructing single-use equipment or breaking down Shepard, it's good to see you again. I took down the target. If he was the observer, he had no data on him. The others have gone to ground. Damn it, I was so close. I'm sorry. I don't mean to seem ungrateful. It's frustrating to hunt someone for so long and see them escape again. And when... No. Alright, so since we saved the game here. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good. We're gonna do it lips. the lame way. I don't get that goddamn riddle. She told me what I needed to so get. we're just gonna go up good. there. Good and we're gonna so randomly choose each one until we get success. That's horrible. There's a contract. Looks fun and not harder. The loads in PlayStation 5 are pretty fast, so. Save the game right here. Poof, and now. Shepherd. Oh shit. So, what can I do for you? God damn it. <sighs> I know you're looking for the shadow broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Hmm. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. Hmm. Okay. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the hmm. location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Hmm. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. <coughs> Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. If you'd feel... They brought you back, and now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. Hmm. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Hmm...
If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulation is compatible the game after with I both this my shit. suit and the sorry physiology? All right. There we go. That's gonna be maximum. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please oh, return shit. your system to an authorized team. Fucking dealer. backwards. I do not like the map system or for this. The exciting new Coros brand radiation. What I want to do is just go to this. See, like, just click on this, and then it should just, like, point me where to go. But it doesn't do that. Yeah, look around and use the map. It's like, no, dude. Like, give me a little compass arrow, like all the good games do. The old one used to do it. Mass Effect 1 used to have an arrow. I can't believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. All right. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. Hmm. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. Huh? I'm hoping to avoid that. Good to know. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human, do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's mm. a big nice. diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. Dexter. It's closer to a religious <laughs> group than a legal branch. Uh, I see. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Let's complete another mission. All right, let's see. Let's go. Hmm. Since so she's concerned about lar breakers, I guess we don't want to take lar breakers with. So we're gonna do. Uh, she follows the rules. And she's a rule follower. Maybe? Um, yeah. 
Plus since I got to roll followers. Okay, now I can max her out, which is good. Let's see, what are we getting? Health damage, squad weapon damage. Oh yeah, we're gonna go with what strength strength strengthens the squad damage. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Make her even. Make her even as well. Alright. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, huh? and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney for. Find me in the station if you need me. <sighs> What's up, little big man? We have an objective barrel. Me like the objective barrels. Hmm, here's the murder scene. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn mm? to impossible causes. We've got that covered. If you're getting her out of my district, <laughs> I'll get you to her ASAP. <laughs> She's at the crime scene. Hmm. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. Mm. I have no interest in dying, so mm -hmm. if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled nice. to help you. Hmm. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Is Samara leaving with it. you, or is she still at the crime scene? I have to go. Good luck. 
And We'd better find some more before the detail. There's also the run button. Alright. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. in here. Huh, nope. Oh, salvage. There we go. Yep. Bonus. her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. Oh shit, she's powerful. Nice outfit, too. What was the name of the ship she left on? The word name for a ship. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name hey, is Simone. Hey, how's it going? A servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me. But I am in the middle of an investigation. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. Hmm. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Our forefather's name is Dexter Morgan. <laughs> Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. 
My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Makes sense. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the tooth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Question the Volus Merchant. Okay. Hello, Earth Clan. If you're interested in weapons, I have a fine selection. Unfortunately, I am not open for business right now. Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant. Oh dear. Mm? Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. Tell me about this chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3. And it's very, very, um, illegal. <coughs> Anyone with biotic powers who is exposed to it becomes more powerful. The higher your exposure, the more powerful you get. But too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found disagreeable. You've been in the Eclipse base. What do you remember? It's a series of docking bays where the Eclipse keep their private ships. They're well armed and they've got mechs. And they're all murderers. Every one of them kills someone as part of their initiation. It sounds like you're a swindler, and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. Mm, here we go. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. All right. I'm assuming that was the door that used to be locked. Yup. Alright. We're compromised! Oh! He goes. Damn!
Don't even think about it. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought mm. was just a superstition what is this? until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. What do they do here that you don't like, Eldora? I thought we'd be flying around the gap, but no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. 
Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. This looks interesting. Hmm. Detected. Gunship. Your toast. Oh I'll shit. Tear you apart. Combat drones away. Thank <laughs> you. 
dude. What? What's up? Uh-huh. That's what's up. I'm not going to restart it. I'll accept my decision. What class did you pick? 
Um, oh, what class? Jeez, I forget. I think I just picked Soldier. Yeah, it was Soldier. Soldier is pretty good, I usually go Soldier for the first Looks game, like then Vanguard for the second, and third. Sold 2, units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of Red Sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Let's worry about that after we find the ship name. This is my first time playing uh, the Mass Effect series. I beat one um, on it, of course, on number two. Mightiest biotic ever. Uh huh. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I became Paragon or Renegade. A little bit of both, but lean towards the Paragon side. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure won't get delayed. Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Shepard, having this incapacitated Volus running around our <laughs> battlefield could compromise us. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. <laughs> Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her bionic <laughs> rich blood will be the last step of my uh. But, great wind. Biotic god. I'm... I... What was I saying? Uh. I'm... Tired. <laughs> you may be right. Nappy time. Yes, <laughs> well, I'm tired. Oh boy. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Mm. So much for godhood. Congrats, you just defeated a god with a light nudge. Mm. Just like in Ghostbusters, if something asks if you're a god, you say yes. Alrighty, I'm suspecting this is the boss battle, maybe? We'll see. No spoilers. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Jessica shows up, now you. 
At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. I the first. of that ship must be around here. Well, that was easy. Yeah, a little bit easier than I suspected. I have it on normal difficulty, but I've been building up with all the little, you know, all the little side missions, a little bit of the main missions. Alright, anyway. Oh, there's the name of the ship, I would assume. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? We've got time. Let's look around some more. And I do perform in the mining on a lot of planets to be able to afford the upgrades. Yeah, Mass Effect 1? I did a lot of the main missions and I beat the game too soon, so it's like this one I'm taking my time with. I'm doing, trying to do most of the side missions in it, unless they're super boring. I don't think there's much more to find in here. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Yep. Let's go. Hey, what was the fate of Rex in the first one? Um, the way I did it, uh, like Rex agreed with me. He was my my buddy. Have you? I mean, so you played this game before, right? No spoilers for you in this game. Have you have you beat this game already? Like, don't give away anything to me, but I'm just wondering, did you beat the whole game yet? Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters were missing. Yup, I've beaten this series a couple of times. Nice. So yeah, it was cool. It was like, in this game, Rex was my friend. I don't know if that is how it always is, or if my data moved from the first game to this one, but yeah. Yep, I've never played it except on this version of it, the trilogy. Awesome game so far. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. Mm. And it's nice If you can't get Rex to agree with you on Vermeer, you're forced to kill him. It's better if he lives. Nice. I did do that in game one. I did uh, get him to agree with me. See. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? 
You continue to impress. <laughs> yes, I was here tracking the Arda Dyakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. Hmm. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. Interesting. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to be released from my oath. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? Hey, trophy. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the Great Empty Void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Let's see if we got enough to get any new upgrades. Shield strength. Might as well. Got it to spend it. I don't plan ahead, I just collect stuff, and as I can upgrade, I just upgrade. I don't like look how much I need. Just let it happen naturally. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's just see if there's anything new to say. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Mm. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Mining can be a little grindy, but the upgrades are definitely worth it. Especially the ship upgrades. Yeah, I mix it up. I go just go back and forth between the missions and mining. I consider this dude like a combination of like the character Spock and Data, like on meth or crack cocaine. <laughs> Let's see. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Hmm. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Hmm. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced hmm. by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture. Closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors, just final insult. Must be destroyed. What is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? 
disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Hmm. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use hmm. new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came. Disrupted Krogan culture. Used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had hmm. me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in Collector Base. Culturally dead. Tools for Reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but <laughs> you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. What, My what? Get it, get it? science studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. We did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Chicka wow wow. Chicka wow wow. Goodness. I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. Oh, I didn't I show had the a dinner. Wonderful evening. Weird. Thank you, Shepard. That's interesting. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, we both know what Shepard was up to. <laughs> I thought I'd have some choices to make, though. It ain't no fun if it's automatic. I'm also trying to hook up with the crazy, crazy lady Jack. I've been wearing her down. Hey. We need to discuss our relationship. I said I want to think about everything. I just... You know what it's like to think you're alone and find out... Oh, you're romancing, Jack? Yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. If you need to think, I can wait. For a while. Hmm? I just... This is so strange for me, and you just keep pushing. What am I supposed to do with that? You're weird, Shepard. 
that kind of gets me off. <laughs> I do for you. Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on you little boshtet. Oh, Your boshtet. I've got a small <laughs> fever and I'm taking it out on the pork drive core. Uh -oh. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry. It won't affect my performance on the mission. Hmm. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. Huh. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except, well, no quarians. Uh... I mean, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a... Mm? Um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that the oh, tradition wow, also wow. signifies a willingness for a wow, wow. intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Eh? How did we even end up talking about this? You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't... You never... Well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. Do you think we'll make it through this? Of course we will, Gabby. I mean, as long as we take down the collectors, it's all worth it. Even if we don't make it. Don't even think that. Unfortunately, I have work in the morning. Gotta go. Yep, have a good one. Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. That's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Solarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. Mm? Uh, never mind. What did Okir want you to feel about this stuff? Hate. But the pictures, the aliens in them, they don't do anything. I see blood, craters, but so what? My guts were grown from a thousand more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. Hmm. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak, pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it.
Shepard. So. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. No, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. Mm. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. I fought him. Runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. Tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. If we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life, measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer home. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is. Hmm. This is not a path he should walk. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Hey, Shepard. You're a brave man spending so much time with Jack. Hmm? I'm afraid to even go near that part of the ship. I guess there's someone out there for everyone. Even her. How about you mind your business? So. Shepard. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. 
It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. Just the headphones a little bit. Alright. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Nice. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. I'll let you know, Miranda. Of course, Commander. The collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant bugs. Huh? Who knows what the Reapers do? launched.
of the way. Probe. Sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thags? That depends on who's asking. My intentions are peaceful, and I'll take that as a yes. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct a mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's ten riches. Are the heavens still bright as sorry blue? Or have the bolus finally rolled to the top? And don't miss no, our you look don't at understand. the fashion of Opa and the Commerce Awards held last week. 25. Sell at 25. To mention that you're a quarian. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? 
Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. He didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other alien contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. Making changes now could be dangerous. Are you sure you can trust Niket? Absolutely. He's one of my oldest friends. I trust him with Ariana. Lentea will follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Let's get it. Hmm, who do I want? Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Mm -hmm. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. They are twins. Since you're so. not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. Oh, shit. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the Captain. She's not as... polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birth date. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things What's up, bitch? Damn it! They see you, Shepard!
Who wants some? Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made, I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understand. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Can you tell me anything about the cargo? We'll be moving through. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. Let's go find the right. category. this. Thank you. 
Damn it.
Cut down through the cargo line. What? Hey, hey! Run the fuck away, dude! God damn it! The fuck you doing? Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why would the thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did the cat know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. We won't know anything until we find the cat. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... What's up? This should be fun. What? Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? 
Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? I like her. Are we still recruiting? How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? If Niket knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Figuratively speaking. I was tired of talking anyway. Hmm. So was I. Haha! <laughs> What's up, bitch? There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely.
I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why did he make me kill him? He could have run. He could have lied about having the data stored somewhere. But he just stood there. The only loose end. He knew what I'd have to do. Maybe some part of him regretted what he did, and he wanted to atone somehow. You atone by fixing your mistakes, not by committing suicide. You did what you had to do, Miranda. You're not responsible for his death. Of course I am. But it's not my fault. It's not even the cats, really. My father takes the blame for all of this. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. I gotta take a piss, so I'm gonna pause the game for a moment. Jack and Miranda in the middle of a Damn disagreement. Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? Oh, I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Touch me and I will smear the world. Oh shit! Bitch. What's going on? Enough. Stand down, both of you. What's going on here? The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. Oh shit! It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly, you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. The people I recruit are my business, Miranda. You leave Jack alone. She can't be trusted, Shepard. She's unstable. She's jeopardizing the mission. Jack's doing just fine. Maybe you should take a look at your own attitude. My thoughts exactly. Hmm? Are we good? Not even remotely. Ha <laughs> ha. see something here. Auto save. What time is it? Yeah. We're going to try that a little differently.
I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm guessing that's one you won't repeat. Why did he make me kill him? He could have run, but he just stood there. The only loose end. He knew what I'd Maybe have to do. Maybe some part of him regretted You atone by fixing your mistakes, not by committing suicide. You did what you of had to do. Of course, it's always... I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. You still have Oriana. My father... but... yes. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're... There she is. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not a... The left... She's got a family. A life. She doesn't need any details. Go on. We'll wait... Here we I'll go. Deal with it. Take pictures. Haha. <laughs> Touch me and I will smear the wall with you, bitch. Enough. Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you. You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Hmm. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure. I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Nope. I like it when Jack's on my side, so I'm going to... Do it one more time the way I did it originally, so I get for a second guess myself. Fuck Miranda, she's a stuck-up bitch. Fuck that shit. I can't believe Niket sold me out. Everyone makes mistakes. What? But he just stood there. The only loose end. He knew what I'd have to do. You did what do. you had to do. Of course. Miranda. It's always. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. You still have Orion. But yes. Come on. We should Don't go. Don't you even want it's to say hello? The lo She's got a family. A she doesn't need any deep. All right, well, we're gonna back Jack up. She, she shouldn't have said she was a mistake. That's fucking bullshit, man. What the fuck? Disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Hmm? Touch me and I will smear the wall with you, bitch! Enough. Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. The people I recruit are my business, Miranda. You leave Jack alone. She can't be trusted, Shepard. She's unstable. She's jeopardizing the mission. Jack's doing just fine. Maybe you should take a look at your own attitude. My thoughts exactly. Are we good? Not even remotely. Fuck you, your bitch. Fucking helped you with your sister. That's the thanks I get. Fuck off. 
I have work to do, Commander. Go chat with your friend Jack if you want small talk. Miranda, do you really think I wanted to take Jack's side in this? We need her, and we need her happy. So taking Jack's side was just a front? Jack needs special attention. You know that. I can at least reason with you. I understand. You did what you had to to keep her loyal. Not Thanks really. Clearing that up, Shepard. I complain, Miranda. I should have known you were focused on the mission. Every time I think I've got you figured out. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Anything I should know? The crew's working the well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Hmm. Ironically, I was actually playing Miranda. I own Jack's side. Just told her that to shut her up. Hey. We need to discuss our relationship. I said I want to think about everything. But just... You know what it's like. Pretty much, You don't yeah. have to agree so fast, you fucker. If you need to think, I can wait. I just... This is so strange. You're weird, Shepard. That kind of gets me off. Alright. can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes. I'd like that. I've been thinking about the last time we talked, and I do trust you. I hope you know that. This means something to me. It means a lot. But I don't want to share you. Hmm. I'm gonna have to load the game after this. Tally, there's a good chance that none of us are coming out of this fight alive. Don't ask me to choose. I'm not asking anything, Shepard. One way or the other, you know how I feel. If you want to find comfort in someone else's arms, I won't mm -hmm. hold it against you. Sheila, it'll be easier for both of us. Just keep it honest, okay? It's a small ship. Uh... It travels. She caught me and Jack. I do for you. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Let me see something here. Let's create a new save. Alright. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. And I do trust you. For this one, that. we're going to do I Only Want this You. For the other one, it's going to be not. It means a lot, but I don't want to share you. You don't need to share me. Hmm? I'm not interested in Kelly and Jack. except you, Tally. Oh. Well, then I'll talk to you later, once you've made that clear to Jack. Uh... It's going to get interesting. Oh, shit. You took too long, Jack. Oh, shit. Hey. We need to discuss our relationship. I said. Pretty much, yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. 
This is getting tiresome, Jack. I thought you weren't the thinking type. What are you getting at, Shepard? Don't 180 on me. You're tough, Jack. You don't need me trying to dig into your head. What I don't need is you deciding all this shit for me. I'm not here so you can play whenever you want. Fine. You're right. I don't need this shit. Get out. Hmm? Fuck off! Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck off! She's mad. Let's do it a different way and see what happens. Alright. I'll let you work. God damn it. Talk to you later. Okay, now we're gonna dump Shepard, Jack for her. What can I do for you? Have you got time Jack to talk? took way too long. Yes. Oh, we'll come back like to this that. in that in that saved game. I've been, and I do trust you. I hope you know that. You don't need to share me. Oh, then I'll talk to you later. All right. Gave you like. Ten chances, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, too long. In this game, anyway. So. Three is when I get. Three is for Jack and four is for not. Alright. Hey. We need to discuss our relationship. I said I want to think about everything. I just. You know what it's like. To think you're alone. Pretty much, yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. This is getting tiresome, Jack. I thought you weren't the thinking type. What are you getting at, Shepard? Don't 180 on me. I've got other options. You understand, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I said I didn't care where you played. That's your call. Your ship. Don't need you in my head anyway. Fuck off! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, you had your chance. You took too long in game save number four, but we'll come back for you in number three, don't worry. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. If anything, you've spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to... be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick, jeopardize the mission. Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I... I, I wouldn't blame you if... but... Oh, thank you. You don't know what that... Thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research, figure out how to make this work. What can you do? Can I help? There are a few ways to temporarily improve my immune system. Immunoboosters, antibiotic injections, that kind of thing. I'll spare you the details. But trust me, I've got plenty of motivation to figure something out. It can't be that uncommon for a Quarian to have a relationship with another race. Sure, but in most cases everything is happening outside the suit. Nerve stimulation programs and such. I don't want that. If I'm going to be with mm -hmm. you, I want it to be real. Nice. I need to feel your skin on mine. I've never shown my face to anyone. Ooh. But I'm ready to show you. Mm, interesting. If I can do it without dying. Whenever you figured it out, I'll be here for you. I'll let you know. I promise. Until then, I should, you know, do something. Repairs huh? for the mission.
Commander. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Samara would like... Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to I talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being I assigned? Was, how do I feel? But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership... Don't no worry. We'll I trust you me. implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Unity heals your squad to full health. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, let me go to the thingy. Yeah, let me go to the upgrade section, make sure everything's good. Four is for Tally and three is for Jack. I have to remember that. Hey, that rhymed. Well, oh, Sunday's over, so we're going to end the stream right here. We're going to take a break for about 10 minutes, 30 minutes at the most, and then we're going to be back online here in a bit. Like, follow, subscribe. Peace.